Welcome back guys. Today we've got a handle wrap tutorial for you. It's called the fish scale braid. In my mind it's one of the easiest and best ways to wrap a handle in paracord. The only downside is that it's really hard to undo. And so it's not a good way to store emergency paracord because it's gonna take you hours to take this off. But other than that, it creates a really nice grip to your handle and looks really good too. So the length requirements for this project are a little bit tricky. For every inch of handle, if it's about an inch wide, it's gonna take about four to four and a half feet of paracord. So the best way to check on your handle is to just take a little piece of paracord and, and make an inch of the weave. And then either take it apart or measure beforehand how much cord you used so that you know how much to use for the, for the entire length. So I've got 25 feet of paracord for, for this handle here, and that should be plenty. You don't want to use way too much either because then you'll be pulling all that extra cord through. Other than that, you just need your knife to wrap, scissors, a lighter, and a fit. Don't use a brand new fit on this, sometimes it's a little bit rough because it's going to be sliding along your handle. So before you get started, make sure you keep your knife in your sheath or you can even wrap it backwards in tape and then around again just so you don't cut yourself while you're doing it and it just helps to have a bigger handle of something to grab onto while you're wrapping the actual handle. So we're going to start by putting a fit on, on one end and taking the other end here and just laying it across your handle. You go around with, with this one. And then for most of this tutorial, just you're just gonna be coming up through the previous layer. And so we'll start that now. Coming up through that loop that we just created. So now we've got basically an overhand knot right there. And we're just gonna do that again, right next to it, going up through the bottom. Pull your slack through. 25 feet sometimes takes a while and gets tangled, so you gotta watch out. So then you can kind of push your knots back. And usually going around once is about four, four loops around. So now I've, I've come back to where I started. And I can pull my end tight here, both ends. And now, as we continue on to the next layer, we're gonna be looping up through each of these loops. So we wanna make sure we aren't looping through this layer, but through the, the one that we wrapped around. So this one here travels over to here. So this is the first loop that we're gonna to wanna to go through. went through that one, we're going to skip over the cord crossing over it and put it up through this loop now. Sometimes so if it's a little bit tight you've got to do some wiggling. So now we're going to go past this one that goes over and tuck it up through this one right here. One more time, like we've been doing before, we're going to skip this one that's crossing and go up through right here. And this is basically the pattern we're going to keep up for the entirety of the handle. And I'll see you after we get a few more done. Alright, so now we've done about an inch of weave, maybe about a third of the way done with this handle, um, and we've almost buried our standing end just keep on going over the top of that. Um, if you notice that your weave is a lot looser than this, you may want to back up and just go once more, once or twice more around on the, the first row to tighten it up a little bit. All right, so now if your fingers aren't tired, you did something wrong. No, I'm just kidding. So here we are at the bottom of the handle. Many knots later. Um, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of room at the end so none of my knots slip off. To finish it off, I'm just gonna do one more loop. So, stick it through. 
And now right here where it sticks out, I'm just gonna cut it about a quarter inch from there. And then I'll melt that. Push that flat up against the handle. And that is done. So I started off with about 25 feet of paracord. It looks like I have about eight feet left, um, which is actually a pretty good close estimate in my mind. Um, I would have rather have that left over than, than to splice it. If you do run out of cord, you can splice it. You can actually see on the machete that I did use a couple pieces on that because I ran out when it was my first time making it. What I like so much about this handle is just how even and tight it is. A lot of handle wraps have a tendency to loosen up after a while, but I really haven't noticed that as much with this handle wrap. Um, so I really like how it looked on this machete. And I'll, I'll probably continue to use this method on, on a lot of my knives. So links to all the supplies can be found in the description of this video. Um, if you liked this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.